Joining us now is trial attorney and legal analyst Misty Maris. Uh, I, I, I was struck by the fact that the prosecutor got up and said, Carly Gregg is evil, and sometimes evil comes in young packages. It's really stunning. It's really stunning. She looks like she's eight. A absolutely, and she's 14 at the time this was committed. She's 15 years old now. And, and to your point, Elizabeth, those are chilling words. And it all relates back to what prosecutors were looking for. They were not only looking to convict her and to convict her uh, out outside of the defense argument, not guilty by reason of insanity, convict her on these very serious charges, but also life without parole was on the table. Ultimately, that was her sentence. So. Yeah. They have to show that basically she's not able to be rehabilitated, and and that's why you hear prosecutors using that language. Part of what probably helped them make the mar that that argument is this home video. There's a home surveillance camera that's recording. It, it records her looking both ways, then sort of you know stealthily walking with the gun hidden behind her back to her own bedroom where her mother is. They have just had a fight because the mother's confronted Carly. Because he caught, she's found vape pens and marijuana in her room. It's hard to believe that a fight over something as small as that could lead to violence like this. Absolutely, and so tragic. And to your point, Elizabeth, that's exactly what the, what the case is about. So defense not guilty by reason of insanity, what does that mean? That means she doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. That's the definition. Mental illness alone is not enough. So anytime you have somebody who's acting very intentionally, and we have this video that we see, so going into the room, three shots, she tried to tamper with, like, with, like, with time in with between. With time in between. It's exactly. not like boom, boom, boom. And then lure, trying to lure the stepfather back. There's also, uh, she was convicted of tampering with evidence. She tried to destroy that video. She invites a friend over, says, have you ever seen a dead body before? I mean, all of those actions show that she knew the difference. And that's where you see a conviction and the defense uh, unsuccessfully raising insanity. Okay, she, the defense attorneys argue that Carly was having a mental health crisis at the time. Um, they say she was depressed, that she was hearing voices, that she was cutting herself, that she had an eating disorder. The stepfather, who she tried to shoot and kill, and you can hear him on that 911 mm -hmm. call, absolutely distraught, um, he actually, took the stand for the prosecution and mouthed I love you to Carly in court um, and still tried to make the point that he also thought that she was mentally ill. Uh, yes, he obviously still cared about her despite the fact that uh, this that this heinous murder occurred and that, again, she tried to lure him back, sending a message from her mother's phone, when are you coming home, honey, mm -hmm. to him to get him back into the house. Even still, it is heartbreaking and interesting to see that, you know, you have one of the, the family members, her stepfather, asking for leniency, but still the jury ultimately came to the conclusion that she should be behind bars for the rest of her life. Carly's lawyers are planning to appeal the verdict and the sentence, right. what are the chances they'll get that overturned or mitigated in some way? Well, whenever you have a minor who has been given a sentence of life without parole, there are certain factors that have to be taken into consideration. It's, there's a Supreme Court case called the Miller case. And so age has to be a factor the jury considers. There's a subsequent case from 2021, that's 2012, 2021, called Jones, Jones v. Mississippi, mm -hmm. same state. And that says all the jury has to consider is age. It has to be a factor that's put before the before the jury. They can say, though, that we, we think she's so awful, she should never be free on the streets of America again. Correct. But the, the issue is, and this is something you could see this very case like this go to the Supreme Court, does it mean that somebody has to be deemed unable to be rehabilitated? That 21, 21 case says no. As long as the jury was considering age as a factor or the judge considering as a factor, that's enough. Uh, but... This is the type of issue, it's super sensitive when you have somebody 14 years old without the possibility of parole. So certainly, you're going to see this go up the appellate chain. Wow, maybe all the way to the Supreme maybe. Court. Holy cow. Misty Maris, it's quite a story. Yeah. So sad. Terrible. Oh my gosh, really disturbing. All right.